M0FXP, welcome to my channel. Just uh, a quick one here. So if you've got an ATU100 Pro, looks a bit like this. ATU100EXT, you know, you can buy the ATU40, same inside, just different programming and winding. You might one day need to get your firmware from N7DDC. So here's a link. And then you've got all these different firmwares here provided and information. Here's the reviews on the ATU100. It's a budget ATU, uh, under £70 really. I know that Amazon have them for 100 here, but you can get them a lot cheaper than that. And they can be modified for either 100 watts or up to 40 watts, but they kick in for QRP radios. Look at the reviews here. You decide if you what you think. There's quite a few good reviews. I think if you, as long as you don't compare it to the £200 device, I think you'll find it a fun um, ATU to play with. And there's lots of videos as well. So here's some links. And the other thing you're going to need when you make adjustments, you're going to need the Picket tool and the, the Picket 3 tool and the Picket 3 programmers. So here's the software. I'll put a link in the description for this software. And the Picket, the Picket 3 tool, I've got one coming because I'm going to have a go at this tomorrow just to learn it. Look, Amazon have got them for $16.99 delivered. You basically plug this section, these pins, into the actual ATU inside where the OLED screen plugs in. You've got an OLED screen here. And so the problem is it's soldered in, so you... You do have to make something up to get the picket to connect. But hey, fun and games. So 7-3, I'll put all these links in the description. All the best.